Hello world, Shelly here and it's time for another episode of Foundation Fest and today I'm checking out from Morphe the Lightform Foundation retails for $20 for one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters of product. I have this in shade Light 06 which is light with pink undertones. 06C, let me correct. The shades range all the way up. There's 36 different shades from fair to deep. So that is nice. Let's take a look at how they describe this. They say, bring your best skin to light. This weightless long wearing formula floats on to diffuse imperfections instantly with undetectable buildable medium coverage while a hydro relief complex works to improve and maintain skin's moisture balance and barrier function over time. Clinically proven to hydrate for up to 16 hours, light form leaves skin with a lasting natural radiance that glows from within. So I went digging into the ingredients to see what the heck this hydro relief complex really is. I'm not seeing a whole lot of magic going on here. It's a silicone based foundation, has some hyaluronic acid at the very end of the ingredients list, which, you know, in a, in a properly average to high moisture, humidity climate is a good thing. Uh, if you live in a very dry climate, hum uh, hyaluronic acid can actually dehydrate your skin if there's not enough moisture for it to hold on. It'll pull moisture out of your skin rather than pulling it from the air, but uh, that's that's a more specific scenario going on, but I don't know where the rest of the magic is because the ingredients look pretty straightforward for a silicone dimethicone based foundation, but you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let's take a look at shade 06 Cool swatched against a few others in my collection. Swatch time. First up is today's foundation from Morphe, the Light Form Foundation in shade 06C. Second, I've got from Estee Lauder, the Double Wear Stay in Place in 1C1 Cool Bone. Third up is MAC Studio Sculpt in NW15. And last, I've got from Went Wild, the Tinted Hydrator in Fair. I've already cleansed, moisturized, and sunscreened this 49 year old face. I did prime sort of, with the Inky List Bioactive Ceramide Reporting, Reporting, Repairing and Plumping Moisturizer. I've been digging the whole concept of moisturizing primers or primer moisturizers. I make my own Bakuchiol version. This one's from Inky List, a ceramide version. Basically what I'm looking for in a moisturizer that serves as a primer as well is something that has not too slippy of a texture to it so that it's got a little bit of grip to it. It's a little more of a dry texture and that just is makes a really nice base for makeup for me. So I'm loving this new one from the Inky List. Let's take a look at what this one looks like here. I will, oh, well, we'll just do this backwards. Uh, I'll show you the consistency first. All right, it's gotta do my nails today. All right, all right. So I will go in on one side of my face with a damp sponge, BK Beauty 101 on the other side. We'll see if there is a preference one way or the other. I have been having a week, y'all. Having a week. I am filming this right before, the week before spring break at work. And uh, so there's all kinds of things going on, senior presentations and new admits to the major and their orientation meeting. So everything has me on campus till like nine o'clock at night this week. And then when I went to film today's video, I accidentally just out of not paying attention, deleted the footage of the makeup look that I filmed yesterday because, you know, I just wasn't thinking. And normally the first thing I do is format my, my memory card for my camera, but uh, I already had a video on it in my camera from yesterday that I had not yet had time to take off and edit. Uh, yeah, so I deleted that. That's great. <laughs> you won't be seeing that eye look. <laughs> Here we go, one pass. Oh gosh, I still have pillow lines on my neck. Uh, I would say really sheer coverage in one pass. Not really seeing a whole lot of color correction, just a smidge maybe, but I would call this pretty sheer. It did soak a bit of product into my sponge. So the thinner consistency foundations tend to soak up more, even though my sponge is damp to prevent 
product from soaking into it, but let's try the brush side. I'm glad that they have a lot of lighter shades. I was going for my like most of the year shade when I picked this one, and actually I think I could wear this all the year round. It's really not dark enough that I couldn't wear it in the winter time, which, you know, it's still winter time according to my face. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the sixth lightest shade, so that means they are, there are six other shades on the fair end of the spectrum that are lighter than this. So if you are a Casper the Friendly Ghost like me, you're probably gonna find yourself a good match. Meaning there's also 30 shades darker than this one. <laughs> Cause you know, Casper. Hashtag Casper life. All right. Yeah, a little bit more coverage with the brush as tends to be the case. Yeah, I can definitely tell on my forehead even just from the slight difference in the shade once this is applied. I still have plenty of product left here. Let's go try and even this out a bit. Because I do have to go to work, so I do want to look like a presentable human. Uh, that's the bar, really. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't have very high standards. <laughs> when it comes to my, my, my work wardrobe. I wear what I want, y'all. I wear what I want. I look how I want. Mm. Actually, this does have nice coverage with the brush. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go nice coverage with the brush because that just happened very quickly. I'd call it easily medium. And that's what they claimed. So, uh, bravo, you got it. But it looks like you can also shear it out if you want it more sheer with a sponge so yeah I like that flexibility flexibility is good options are good let's take a look at this one I have a little, little what is that little piece of dirt on my face I think it's I think it's mascara from last night <laughs> I swear I washed my face y'all all right let's take a look let me zoom you guys in so you can see what's going on here the my cheek areas look very smooth. I think it is nicely blurring pores, nicely blurring texture. My nose is a little bit heavy. I see a little bit of product sort of just sitting on top of my nose, but chin is good coverage. Smidge heavy looking on the chin too, but generally speaking, that's not super unusual. Uh, the smoothing is nice. It's not caking up anywhere. It's not caking and eh, maybe it's clinging a little bit to the dry skin between my eyebrows but i have been switching up my tretinoin i got a lower concentration of tretinoin in my curology bottle and i'm trying uh, on my provider's advice to use it more frequently at the lower concentration so i am getting a smidge of peeling right now not too bad it is not clinging too bad you know, I can see a little bit of product just sitting on top of the skin on my forehead, but it's it's not it's not bad. It's not bad. And it's to the point where I think it is still possible that it will all kind of melt together as, you know, it warms up to my body temperature and such. So, oh, I don't have any way to show you what time it is because my phone is on the charger and my watch is on the charger. And I wonder, can I get my iPad up here? You're going to see it's going to be very meta. You're gonna see me filming, me. It is 10.58 a.m. I don't know, can you see the top corner up here? I don't know if you can see it. Isn't that weird? Look at, <laughs> it's like we're in, we're in a time warp right now. Anyway, let's call it 11 o'clock and let me go put the rest of my face on and I will be right back. Back with the Morphe Light Form, no issues blending, no issues with anything. Did not set this with powder, so Kitten is knocking my box of Ipsy over and it just landed on my foot. So yeah, you might have heard her meow. I don't know why she's trying to get my attention. I think she wants out. She doesn't like to be locked in here. Ziva's locked out, Charlie's locked in by their own choice. I told Ziva, in or out? in or out. She picked out <sighs> on the rest of my face. <laughs> Natasha Denona, this is the Hypernatural Face Palette. I'm wearing the whole thing 
that's my whole face. <laughs> that's everything. Except for the What's Up Beauty Serengeti highlight, because there is no highlight in this palette. So, you know me, cannot live without highlight. Lawless Offset Brow Gel, because my bangs are not cooperating, so I'm just gonna push them off to the side, which means you're gonna see my brows. So I needed to get some color in there. Mascara is the What's Up Beauty Watch Me Mascara. Lip is Color Street High Gloss Lip Oil in Mocha, which interestingly looks like a warm brown in the package, but on my complexion, it does a really cool, like, somehow I feel like it cools down the pink tone of my lips, so it goes well with any eye looks that have pink in them. I don't know, I don't know why. I'd have to do some color theory stuff to figure that out, and that, that's that's too much work for a Wednesday. I'm filming this on a Wednesday. It's hump day, my brain. Got another. We're tank is low. Almost empty, guys. Almost empty. Spring break. Two more days. Two more days. All right. I think that's all the things. Did I tell you all the things? I think I told you all the things. I'll link all the things down below. Everything I'm wearing will be down there. All right. I'm going to go to work. <laughs> I wish I was going to get a sandwich. I'm actually starving. Uh, nope, not going to get a sandwich. Going to work, going to class. Uh, then I'll probably get a sandwich. I hope I will remember to get you a daylight check-in. Gloomy day today. We got some rain on the forecast. That's all I've been saying lately. It's just been gloomy here in Virginia. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go about my day. I will check back in daylight, and then I will come back tonight, give you guys my final thoughts. Hey guys, it's about 3.30. 30 so we're at about four and a half hours here's where we're at pardon the sweat working in my little greenhouse a little bit there we are that's why my nose is red seems to be holding up all right so far it did get darker so uh yeah this is like winter shade or summer shade situation as it dried down, it it did turn darker. You can kind of see the line of demarcation there. But uh, other than that, I think it's holding up nicely. About halfway through. Gonna go do some more work and I will be back tonight. 9.37 p.m. <laughs> Let's take a look at how the Morphe Lightform Foundation held up. It held up pretty well, though I don't really get the hype on the whole like super hydrating thing. It doesn't feel exceptionally hydrating at all. It really, I don't want to say I feel like I'm getting dry, but I'm like at the very earliest stages of feeling like my skin is dry and I want to wash this off my face, you know, just the very earliest stages of that. But if it's supposed to hydrate for 16 hours, I would expect it to at least keep up with my starting level of hydration, if not provide more, which I don't really think that's possible. Although it's been a rainy day today, so the hyaluronic acid has plenty of moisture to grab out of the air. So I don't know, I think the the marketing hype on that, it might be a little, it might be a little hypey. Hypey? Hypey? I don't know if that's a word. I don't think it is, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Let's zoom in and you guys can see what I'm looking at in my 10X here. Um, for the most part, it looks really nice, but it is caking up in some places at this point. It's been, what, 10 and a half hours? Uh, my nose, I did have to blow my nose one time, so I'm missing quite a bit of product for one very careful nose blowing. And it is on the bridge of my nose, it just looks kind of orange because it had gotten a little bit darker and then it's gunking up in a few places, like just getting a little cakey in a few spots and on my nose it's doing that, so that part where it's doing that looks oranger than the rest of my face. Uh, blush, bronzer, or highlight are still very well intact it caked up a little bit on my upper lip and on my under the corners of my mouth I have some like movement lines that it sort of broke apart there and it's gunking up a little bit on my chin and settled a little bit into my deepest chin line. It is caked up in between my eyebrows just a little bit uh, but forehead looks pretty good. It hasn't settled into those lines. It's not doing any 
major like drag lines, dehydration lines, but I don't feel like it kept up with my hydration. I feel like I am slowly losing hydration as the day has gone on. So, you know, when and the drag lines are just starting and like when I can see my crow's feet in my foundation, not that it settled into the lines, but like those lines become visible because the foundation is drying out around them. Like that's that's how I know it's starting to dry out. So, you know, I just think that was a little bit of hype, a little bit of hype that I don't feel like it held up to my my level of dehydration, which is a lot of dehydration. I, I will give it, I'm a challenging, challenging skin type when it comes to how dry I am, but you know, they claimed to be hydrating and uh, yeah. So if I had to give a grade to the Morphe Light form, I'm gonna give it a B. It's above average. I think it looks nice. I like the shade range. It's nicely smoothing. It's nicely blurring. It didn't settle too much into lines and even so it only settled into the deepest ones. But it's it's iffy for dry skin. Like it's fine for dry skin. I think in the summertime it would be fine. Like it's humid out right now. In the winter, I'm not sure if it would be enough for really dry skin, but if your skin's just a little bit dry, it's probably fine. Um, yeah, I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. I have so many foundations that I love. It probably won't get too much rotation, except for when I self-tan, but like last summer, I bought self-tanner and never used it. This summer, I'll buy it again. Am I gonna use it? Probably not. I was in Ireland last summer though, so. That was, <laughs> maybe I'll use it this year. Maybe I'll self-tan for a couple weeks. I don't know. There you have it. Another episode of Foundation Fest is in the books. If you like foundation reviews, if you had fun with this one, give me a thumbs up down below. Let me know in the comments, what would you like to see me review next? I keep a running list. The more people request different things, the more likely I am to buy it. And I buy them whenever I can. And you can follow me over on Patreon. I like to... And I find good sales, deals, stuff like that. I post it over there. I've also got some tiers you can subscribe to if you want to support my work. I appreciate you any which way, free or paid. Share, like, comment. It all helps the algorithm. And we live and die by the algorithm here in the YouTubes. So that is, that's all for me. What about you, Ziva? Is that all for you? Okay. Yeah, Ziva says that's all. There you have it. As always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time, and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye. You're the best. You are the best. I know.